when Michael Dows uh, talked to me about this project, I really excited because the story the story was it's really great. It's like uh, you know it's new for me because it's not like uh, action action action, but uh, a little bit combined, like a little bit uh, comedy stuff. So yeah, why not? <laughs> Vic uh, is uh, Dave Bautista. It's uh, Man, he's really, really kind person. He's really nice, nice guy, and it's such an honor to me to work with and uh, with Kumail and Jenny as well. So he's really funny, and both of them like uh, you know like helped me a lot about this project. And you know um, uh, every single time, and when I'm work with him, and when I'm work with them, uh, it's like. Uh, you know, it's like, a, it's like a family, like a new family for me. When we create a fight scene, you know, like um, I did myself, I did my, my stuff, my, 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 my style, and I create for, for Dave's style as well. It's great combination, like comedy and action stuff, and, you know, it's gonna be rich idea because uh, we have car chase and explosion and fight stuff and silly people as well inside you know inside the movie so yeah it's gonna be great it's gonna be you know it's gonna be complex story as well I thought that this concept was really funny um, I think a movie about an uber driver is long overdue at this point um, and I saw the character and I said, this, this would be a fun guy to play with. Stuber is about a, an Uber driver who has let people run all over him for far too long. Um, his name is Stu, played by Kumail. Um, and then there's a cop, played by Dave, who doesn't really understand how Uber works. Um, He's basically everyone's dad using the Uber app, um, whose eyes aren't really working because he just got LASIK surgery and um, he just got some time sensitive information on a case and now is the time, he's gotta go get this guy. So he calls an Uber, doesn't really understand how it works um, and Stu gets roped into the whole thing and proceeds to let uh, Dave's character run all over him like he's been doing the whole time. And over the course of the movie, it's just kind of about Stu um, just kind of finding the courage to put his foot down and say, enough is enough. Um, I'm done letting people walk all over me. And it's also about um, Vic, Dave's character, just kind of realizing his faults as well. His father owns a sporting goods store called out of the box, outside of the box, um, not the nicest guy, kind of uh, overcompensates for his insecurities by belittling Stu. Um, and uh, yeah, deep down is, is pretty sensitive. I've loved working with the director, Michael Dows. Um, I mean, I, I love the way he's, I love the way we've been shooting this whole thing. Um, he. He gets what he wants and then he kind of lets you play with it a little bit, which is always a good time. I've always been a fan of movies where you take a guy that you would least expect to be in any of these crazy heightened situations and just kind of seeing the way this guy reacts, how he grows from these situations um, and how these situations uh, turn his character into where he's going. The first thing that really stood out was the um, actors I was going to be working with, such as Dave Bautista. Um, I got really excited when I saw his name um, attached, as well as Kumail. Um, yeah, and, and in the script, uh, when I read the script, I, I could tell that it was going to be a lot of fun. First of all, I love the premise, the idea of an Uber driver. It's something that I'm very familiar with. Who, who isn't? Um, and then combining that with something so current and, um, and, and attaching someone like Dave Bautista to it, um, who is an excellent actor. Um, 
I love, I love the way he performs and to see him combined with Kumail, um, it's really magical to see what they, what they come off with. Kumail is hilarious. Some of the facial expressions and his delivery, it's just so tough. It reminded me of all the bloopers I've ever seen um, in, in my lifetime, you know, at the end of the movie or something, and you see when all the characters break. Like, one of the things I always say is like, you know, don't laugh, like, you know, get your job done, but it's so difficult when you see someone like Kumail say something that's hilarious and you're trying to like keep it gangster because, you know, my, my, my character is not, you know, he's not a comedian or anything like that. He's a tough guy and it's just like, oh my God, can we cut? <laughs> a bunch of action with some amazing comedy. Um, just, I mean, if, if, if you like action, you're going to get a good chunk of that. And if you like to laugh, oh, you're definitely going to get a lot of that as well. Um, so yeah, just hang on to your seatbelts and um, get ready for a really fun ride because it's going to be, I can tell it's going to be an amazing film. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that although they reached the heights of their popularity in the 1970s, Kung Fu movies date all the way back to the 1930s. The first Kung Fu movie, 1938's Adventures of Fong Se Yuk, was made in Hong Kong and told the story of a Chinese folk hero from the Quang Dynasty. Click here below to subscribe and we're also to tap the bell to receive all our videos in your feed.